Good morning, everyone. Happy Mayo de Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. I have not been drinking margaritas. Not yet. <laughs> not yet, exactly. Here's some cervezas, but very exciting day. Mm, except for it's raining. I, I know. That's okay. Just stay in your house, make some guac, drink some margaritas. Pretend like you're in Mexico and just enjoy. Yeah, pretend, close your eyes and dream of uh, exactly, sunshine right? and sand and, yeah. Put on some telenovelas and just kind of sit back and pretend like you're in Cabo. So I know. You don't want to look out the window. This is a live look at our sky cam. Did you have to use the windshield wipers on the way in? Absolutely. And last night I could not believe how hard it was coming down. Yeah, it was. Although doesn't... It looks greener out there already. Like when I pulled out of the garage this morning, I was like, wow, it is really green things up. You know, yesterday was Bailey's birthday and we did push everything yeah. up. So we had a little fun and played outside before the rain. And nice. then it really did just rain all day. She, grandma and grandpa hooked her up big time. Her number one gift was a skateboard. I don't know, she's gonna be a skater girl. I, but she like screamed and giggled and carried it around and then it started raining, you know, and then, That's so she got awesome, to play a little though. bit, but then last night JB's like, no, dad was very strict. Don't ruin your new skateboard in the rain. <laughs> so she was not allowed to, to, and, and still today, it's going to rain pretty much all day today. You so. let her skip school, right? <laughs> you know what? I did for the most part. And then last night Good. around 730, it's like, let's just do a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> she was not having it. She kept playing the card. It's my birthday. And I'm like. If it was your birthday and school was normal, you'd have to go to class. And then my dad was there, and Grandpa Ron's always on her side. And he was like, what do you do on your birthday? I'm like, I never work. Exactly. And then JB piled on. He's like, you take the whole, I like to take the whole week off. I like to vacation. Like, it's right. birthday week for me. So I guess, I think Bailey had a good time. She had a good day. It sounds so. like it. Yeah, skateboards, new yellow Crocs, like I showed off yesterday. Trampoline time. Ice cream, ice cream cake. cake. And then um, I went to, to pick up the ice cream cake yesterday, and then they're like, you can come in and pick your own. I was like, oh, I wasn't used to going inside, you know? Mm -hmm. But there's no one in there. And so then I was like, well, I might as well get this box of dilly bars and these <laughs> ice creams. So, you know, we talk about when you can go into a business, and I, you know, I was wearing my mask, and I was very, you know, careful, and they had like no seating in DQ, in case you're wondering. I mean, oh. all the seats were like, you could go in to get your ice cream, but it, it appeared you couldn't sit in there. Just go in and buy your cake. But, if I would have gone through the drive-thru, I probably only would have got the cake. That's what I'm saying. What a great, uh, whoever whoever is managing that store, that was a great upsell for yes. her to go like, no, come on in. Come Lily, on in. Come I in. was in the drive-thru. I was like, can I get a cake through the drive-thru window? She's like, just come inside. You can pick your own. I was like, oh. Next thing you know, dilly bars. Dilly bars. And, like, that is yeah, fantastic. Both, you know, butterscotch and chocolate and ice Ooh. cream sandwiches. And then there was fudge bars. So I spent more money on the treats. <laughs> I didn't do gift bags for anybody. So anybody that came over to say happy birthday, I was like, here's a fudge bar. Here's a dilly bar. Uh, Oh, uh, Butterscotch Dilly Bar sounds so good right now. It was. That hit the spot. I haven't had one in forever. Oh, you chatted one of those down last night? I did, too. Good for you. I did. So, anyway, yeah, it was, it's been kind of a rainy day, but it's greeting things up. And talking about Cinco de Mayo, if you um, are looking for a good guacamole recipe, Abby Furchner was on the Valley today this morning with one of our local uh, Mexican restaurants. And I uh, can't think the name right now, which I feel really bad about that. And she was making, it just looked delicious. And some of, one of the secrets, I just can't get over this, and I, I know it's not that big a deal, but she was like, a lot of people don't like onions, so she just purees them <laughs> with oh. the jalapenos. And like, she's like, then they don't even know that it is in there. Nice. <laughs> I was like, that's so clever. You know, you see chunks of onions and people turn their nose up. I agree. And she's like, I agree. so anyway, that's all clipped and uh, you can watch those videos on our valleynewslive.com website. Good for Abby. Yeah, so she had, she had fun today, so. <clears throat> I am not a cook, but I will say, I make a super mean guac and margie. Like, that's whenever I make guac and margie, like, cook people are like, else. yeah, they're like, Dude, this is off the chain. Like, I have just the right amount of heat in there because I put some either habanero jalapenos in there. I got the salt, the lime. I love that. I uh, didn't know this about you. You learned something about Chris. Yeah, I like, I, I'm not a cook, right? But something about, like, you know, the Mexican gomita, I can, like, sit down and just start. Next thing you know, like, I'm starting to, you know, speak Spanish and do the yeah, yeah, yeah. And everything, so. <laughs> that, that, that could have something to do with margaritas. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that sounds like a fun party. If only we could hang out. There's no social distancing. Some sombreros. Social yeah, distancing exactly. is, is in play. Uh, okay, well, our producer is also very excited about Cinco de Mayo today. He was up all night long studying the history. Oh, I some good stuff about it, too. Yeah. 
Well, mostly he's just uh, talking about drinking and celebrating. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not really the history of it. Did you know Americans drink an average of three and a half alcoholic beverages each um, on Cinco de Mayo. So three and a half margaritas. <laughs> Hopefully they're not those jumbo ones that you can get at, um, uh, how, what's that the re Mexican restaurant on Main Avenue that I love? Mangoes. Oh, Mangos. Yeah, they yeah, have yeah. excellent uh, margaritas. Um, <laughs> Americans drink more tequila than any other country. We are the winners in that? I'm surprised by I that. That is shocking, right? I would think that someone else would take the lead on that. Uh, Los Angeles's annual Cinco de Mayo celebration is bigger than the one that actually takes place <laughs> in Pueblo, uh, Mexico, yeah. where the holiday originated. So there's a little bit of history in there. Um, a lot of Mexican foods that we eat in the U.S. aren't actually authentic parts of the Mexican cuisine. Um, dishes like hard shell tacos, nachos, my favorite, and burritos are considered Tex-Mex. <laughs> creations. Oh, that's interesting. Doesn't surprise me. I talk about that. I love mangoes because I think it's authentic. And Acapulco, I hear great things. Yeah. Um, there's a new Plaza Azteca in West Fargo. Oh, delicious. Really? But I still I still appreciate my uh, Americanized, yeah, I can eat it. The Mexican Tex -Mex, Village yeah. in Paradiso. I love it. I, I love all of it. It's just like different kinds of pizzas to me. And the uh, city of Longmont, Colorado celebrates Cinco de Mayo with a Chihuahua beauty contest <laughs> in which they crown a king and queen. I love that. I wish I we did too. something like that here. A chihuahua. You know, actually, I have a friend who just got a chihuahua during the quarantine, and she named him Taco or Nacho. I'm sorry, Erin. Oh, and she let us babysit. I, that just that's reminds great. me. Such a little baby puppy. <laughs> All right. Well, in addition to Cinco de Mayo, which, of course, is the big one that everybody's talking about, it's also National Teacher Day, which is even bigger as we talk about all the teachers. I complain a lot as a parent having to do the distance learning. I totally feel for the teachers. This is a whole new way of teaching for them as well. I know I talk a lot about, I should have probably approved this, but now it's just so, you know, Mrs. Mo, I talk about her all the time. She's my, our second grade teacher, and she has kids at home too. Oh, so she's man. teaching my kids at home with her kids, and I think, man, she is, she's a queen. I don't know how she's doing it all, so. Queen of patience, queen, queen of, of patience. all kinds of things. Yeah, so we're going to celebrate teachers today. We have some great interviews. We're going to talk to a teacher, a local teacher, who is going to tell us a little bit about how the changes have affected her, mm. how teachers are doing, what she thinks about the future of teaching. And we're also going to talk to a PTA member and talk about some of the cool things nice. they're doing for teachers as well. So uh, stay with us. We have a great show plan. Like I said, coming up next, we're going to talk to one of those teachers and see how the distance learning is going for her. Maybe it's the parents that are hard on the... <laughs> right. you know, they're, they're tired of the parents, not the kids. Stay with us.